So I'm starting this vlog off late. It's... I don't even know what time it is. I mean, it's definitely probably around, like, 6.30? 6.44? Um, it's almost 7 o'clock, and I'm just now starting, which is, like, really bad, but... Uh, it's just kind of, it's just kind of like a long day, and there was like a, just a bunch of people over, and I haven't really got comfortable like vlogging in front of other people yet, so it's like, still kind of like an adjustment period, I guess, but there was just a lot of people here, and now that it's quieted down, and I'm outside just enjoying, because it's gonna rain, which sucks, but Florida rain really never lasts that long, it will just like, rain really hard for a few minutes, and then it usually stops, but... I don't know, we're getting rain, which sucks, it kind of ruined the day, and hopefully it dries up quick, because tomorrow I actually want to get out and skate a little bit more, and stuff like that. I'm still kind of sore from the last time, honestly, like it's, I don't know, it takes some getting used to. And today, I did like the saddest thing possible, I sold my Xbox 360, the Xbox 360 that started it all, I sold it, but... It's okay, because the money that I got from it, I'm going to invest into better equipment for the channel and stuff like that, so... You know, it's it's a win-win situation, really, for you guys and for me. It's gonna up my quality, it's gonna, you know, open more doors to more content and stuff like that, so... Yeah, it's gonna be cool, but I'm gonna go back inside before it starts raining, and then I'll see you guys later to end the vlog. Sorry it was such a short, very uneventful day. I live a very boring life sometimes, but... It was just one of those days, just like, it was just so loud, and I was just kind of, like, frustrated and annoyed, and I just didn't really want to pick up the camera, but, I don't know, tonight, we'll talk, because I have more stuff that I, I kind of want to talk to you guys about, because you guys, honestly, like, I'm going to talk to you the reason why I started vlogging, and the reason why I do what I do, because, like, seeing the positive feedback from the vlogs, I mean, like, not a whole lot of people watch it, there's only, like, 40 of you guys, which is still crazy to me. I mean, 40 people, you know, that that's awesome. But I just really want to, like, tell you guys why I started vlogging and why I do what I do and stuff like that. So, yeah, guys, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. I'm going to go inside and do some stuff. I'm not going to be able to record a video, unfortunately. But um, I'm going to talk to Mr. G stuff and stuff because he's getting the video... We got all the files sent to him for MMO Mosh Pit, and he's going to try to get the video edited and uploaded tonight. I don't know what time. I'm going to talk to him, try to find out, and then I will, like, give you guys, like, an update at the end of the, the vlog when we end it and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'll see you guys then. I can't. I, I just failed. I, I didn't know how to hit. Alright, so I want to talk to you guys about something that a lot of people actually ask me why I do it, or why I started doing it, and... Let me grab something to set my camera down on here. These stack of games should put it to the right height here. No? Needs to be a little higher. Uh, here we go. Watch box. Okay, so a lot of people ask me, you know, when, when I tell them, they're like, why did you start vlogging? How did you go from playing video games to vlogging? And... I'm just trying to get me some extra lighting here. It's really rainy and stormy outside, and that sucks. You guys can probably hear it in the background. But I get asked a lot, Dustin, why do you vlog? What made you go from playing video games to wanting to vlog? And, you know, kind of film your everyday life and stuff like that. And to put it simply, it's because I have been through some pretty shitty things in my life from you know, family issues, to relationship issues, to losing friends, to health issues, I mean everything. I have been put through so much, and I know that there's people that have been through worse, or that are going through worse. I'm not trying to make it seem like I lived, like, the worst life possible back then. That's not true. There's always people that are going to have a worse, and I'm very thankful for everything that I have, because I know I have a lot of stuff that other people won't, won't have, or don't have, or don't have the chance to have. Like, I, I get that. And I'm not trying to be like, oh, my life was so bad. No, that's not it. But I've just been through relatable things. Depression, anxiety, which I still struggle with both of those to this day. More anxiety than depression, but they're still there. Relationship issues. I just got out of a serious relationship. I just, I mean, it's like, this stuff is real and I'm a real person and, and I experience it just like everybody else. And 
I vlog because I want to use those experiences to tell you guys that, you know, you can get through it, you can conquer it, you can rise above it, and you can be a better person, and that's what it's about. It's about making yourself a better person. Use those negative experiences in your life and, and become a better person. Don't dwell on them. I know sometimes it's so, so hard, but you got to look at it like this. There's times where something happens and you're holding on, right? You're holding on. You don't want to let go. Say it's the death of a family member or a breakup. Say you just went through a breakup. You're in a very serious relationship. You love deeply and care deeply about this person and they loved and cared about you deeply. And then things just like you guys are like this. And then all of a sudden you're here. One's going their way. You're going your way. But there's there's something there that, that you just want to hold on to because you think that you can, you know, change your direction and grab, get, get that person back, right? Like you think that, okay, I can mend this, but you need to understand as some things can be fixed, not everything can be fixed. There comes a time where when you're holding on to that something, that, that something that you feel, sometimes you just got to let go because... Honestly, and I can tell you from my life experiences that letting go hurts a hell of a lot less than holding on because at least in my situations, I was holding on to something that didn't exist. I was just there. I was just grasping to all these little things that that were just, you know, that, that I thought were going to make things right. And no, I'm not comparing this to my last relationship that ended completely different. OK, that's completely different. It was a very mutual thing. But I'm talking about like past relationships. You hang on. To, the, to those memories, right? You hang on to them and you think like, okay, well, maybe I can remind them of what we used to be and then things can be normal again. And that's not the case. You have to let go. The funny thing about life is, you know, when things are going right and you're at your peak, something's going to come along and it's going to knock you down. Life mm -hmm. knocks you down, but you got to get back up. You have to brush it off and you have to push forward and you have to get back to the top where you are. Don't let life drag you down because honestly life seems like it can suck sometimes in life sure life can be shitty you can have bad days you know you can be heartbroken you can experience it this shit is going to happen i'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you guys and say oh no everything's gonna be fine no it's not i can tell you right now i can look you in the eyes right now and tell you that no everything is not gonna be okay you're gonna have experiences that you're not gonna like you're gonna be at low points in your life where you feel like the only thing to do is give up but you can't you cannot do that because then you lose. You lose, you lose yourself, and then you just spiral down this deep, dark hole, and it's so hard to get back up. That's why you have to know enough that when you start to fall, you have to catch yourself, and you have to say, okay, look, this is how it is. Sure, this situation sucks, but I'm going to climb back to the top, and I'm going to keep moving forward with my life. Honestly, essentially, like, I've... I vlog because of that because I want to show you guys that sure things are gonna go wrong and you guys will see this You know, I'm not saying my future is gonna be great Things are gonna happen and you guys are gonna experience it with me And I'm gonna show you that no matter how hard life is and how bad it knocks you down and walks all over You got to get back up and you got to keep fighting. I Vlog to show you guys that I can do it and so can you. And I'm going to be here with you every step of the way. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here, guys. This It's going to like start raining really hard again. We're supposed to have these storms like almost all night. It's ridiculous. My phone's blowing up. My friends are talking to me on Xbox. So I'm going to get going, and I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow. See ya!